Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to fix this error. My SQL shut down unexpectedly. So in a previous video that you can find in the description, I explained how to fix this error when the poor number is used by another application. And in this video, I will show you how to fix this error when the MySQL database is corrupted. So let's click on the start button of the MySQL service. So we can see that the poor number appears, then disappears, and then we have this error. This means that we need to repair the MySQL database. So let's go to the folder of exam. Then let's open the MySQL folder. So here we have the data folder, which contains the data of our database. So let's make a copy of this folder. Then I will rename this folder and I will call it data old. And I will call it data old. Now let's repair this folder. So here we can see that folder. So here we can see that we have different folders. Each folder corresponds to a database. So here we have to keep our databases and we need to delete the MySQL databases. So the first MySQL database is this folder. So let's select it. Also, we need to select this folder called Performance Schema. So we have to click on the control button of the keyboard and then we have to click on this folder. Then we have to delete this folder called PHP My Admin. And finally, we have to delete this folder. So let's delete all of these folders. Then we need to select all the files. But we should not delete this file. It is called IB data one. So let's unselect it. Now let's delete all the files. And then let's go to the backup folder to repair our data. So this is the backup folder. So let's copy everything inside this folder, but we should not copy this file. It is called IB data one. So let's unselect it. Then let's copy everything. Then let's go back to our data folder and let's paste what we have copied. Now we can close this folder and now let's start the MySQL service again. So now MySQL is running correctly and we don't have the error anymore. We can also go to phpMyAdmin to check our databases. And here we can see that we have all our databases. 